Local SEO. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to summarize the history of local search and how new technologies have made local search a reality. Define NAP and explain its importance in optimizing for local. Give examples of directories that play a big role in local SEO. And finally, list some of the top signals that affect local search results. The search engines have put massive resources into developing the visibility of local and regional businesses in the search results. In addition, the massive increase and in prevalence of smartphones over the past few years have made location-based searches an expected everyday occurrence. People expect to find results based on where they are immediately. Here's the basic idea behind local. Now, for a long time in the past, Search engines wanted to be able to provide results based on where you were in the world in a very precise way. They were able to use this somewhat by using the IP address, and they could approximate where you were, but it wasn't always that accurate. What they really wanted to know is where you exactly were within feet or meters. Now, this technology has evolved considerably and in a very short amount of time using location technology like GPS and Wi-Fi. In addition, the prevalence of searching on smartphones accounts for more than 60% of searches every day. These factors now enable search engines to know your location and provide incredibly accurate and thorough options for your search. So what's at the core of this? Well, it's the acronym NAP. It stands for name, address, and phone number. This is the most critical factor for any business, not just in local SEO. But for local, it is critically important. All you need to do is on your website specify one name for your business, one address, and one phone number. And then when you put that into different directories like Yelp or Yellow Pages or whatever you may be using, you need to make sure that you have exactly letter for letter the same name and the same address and the same phone number. Unfortunately, this gets convoluted. Because the search engine spiders index and classify information, business information can be classified separately, all because of the slightest variation in business name or address making it look like a separate business. Now, a human would easily be able to identify the difference and classify the variations as a single business. Search engines can't do that yet. Start on your own website. Specify one name for your business, one address format, and one phone number. And then use that same identical name and format when you set up your accounts at different websites and directories like Yelp or Yellow Pages. You need to make sure you have exactly letter for letter, the same name, the same address, and the same phone number. Unfortunately, this can be difficult. There are a lot of different formats for phone numbers, certainly for addresses and even for names. Any inconsistency will cause problems. Again, a human might be able to figure this out easily, but using the examples, a search engine would consider this two separate businesses at the same address. Or because the address format is different, it may even be considered two different businesses at two different addresses. Do you see how that works? So, search engines do not usually know that they're the same business, and this causes all kinds of problems. So let's pretend that your address is 123 Happy Street, Suite 3. There's a lot of different ways you could write this. You could spell out suite. You could use just the abbreviation for it. And there's actually two abbreviations for suite. You could also use unit instead of suite. But suite numbers and abbreviations are where people lose their consistency. Even with road, street, parkway, or avenue, you need to pick just one version, spell it and format it exactly the same, and use it consistently. Then find all the instances of different variations you have online and go fix them. The last part of this is directories. So directories for a while now has been a bit of a bad word. 
It used to be a great way of doing SEO until it got abused. In fact, it got abused and overused. And abuse was that people would charge a lot of money so that you could be listed in a directory. And now in modern days, directories are not like they used to be. And they're not that useful. Getting links that way and doing link building through directories is not going to be greatly helpful. However, the big exception to this is with local SEO. There are important IYPs, Internet Yellow Pages. There are also things like Yelp or Urban Spoon, where people go and submit their local businesses. Real human beings pick up their phone and they go to the Yelp app and look for businesses. And because real human beings are using these, unlike the directories of the past, this means that you want to have your business there. So, in some ways, directories, at least in the local space, have returned. A great example of this are local or even national business associations. Chambers of Commerce, business associations, industry associations, and other directories can be good places. Now, after all that, let's move on to some other local signals. So, the first most important signal is this acronym again. NAP, name, address, and phone number. The key here is that consistency. The next thing is keywords and titles. This is extremely convenient because it's something you should be doing for SEO anyway. This is particular for title tags, which is something we've covered in the other videos. The next one is domain authority. So if you have an important domain, an important business, Google is going to use this as a signal when they're doing a traditional local search. So, when someone's on their mobile and they're looking for a good restaurant, if you are an important restaurant in the city, you're going to be more popular in both local search and traditional search. That's domain authority. The next one is inbound link signals. This again might sound familiar. The things that help you for traditional SEO do the same for local. The first one is anchor text. So this is one of the most important. If you're a great restaurant, hopefully you're going to have lots of bloggers, lots of magazines, and local online entities that are writing about you and linking to you. They're naturally going to use your name and the name of your business in the review about you. These are the kinds of things that Google is looking for because these are what is effective online. The last one is reviews and citations. But in this context, these have very specific definitions. It's not just reviews in general, like the ones I've talked about. It's reviews on specific local directories or business listings, and it's both the quality of them. Are you getting five stars? And the quantity of them. Do you have 100 reviews? Do 100 people care enough about your business to review you? Now, the next one is a bit more complex, as it does require some programming on your website. This is called schema microdata or structured data. Schema is an agreed upon programming standard by search engines, browsers, and device manufacturers that directs the markup and display of specific content. It's typically content that is repetitive by nature. And therefore, if it's displayed in a consistent manner for all devices, browsers, and operating systems to know the content, then they can display it properly. You'll find it in addresses, contact cards, dates, e-commerce products, reviews, people, places, creative works, and more. What we're most concerned with here is the address and phone number. By using schema, when you add your address or phone number to your website, it enables the visitor to use the click to call function on their phone when there's a phone number on the website. In addition, using the address schema can open up a map when someone clicks on it to show the location. Utilizing this schema provides clear data to the search engine that can be republished across a variety of channels. Now specifically for Google's business listings, they give a very wide range of content for businesses to list. So fill out as many areas of the business listing as you can. Business hours, payment types accepted, phone numbers, descriptions, reviews from Google, and maybe even from your own website. You can link your social profiles and any events or promotions you have. One of the biggest signals that we've seen grow in importance are the amount of pictures that you load into your business listings. 
In fact, Google provides a report as to how many times the photos are viewed by searchers. Many times, businesses that have many photos will show up with more prominence than those that have little or no photos. So take advantage of the listing opportunities that Google provides. Finally, the same behavioral signals that are used in search are also used in the local search results. And this is because the search engines, especially Google, can see how searchers interact with your local listing because it is in their system. The behavioral signals start with how many people search for your business. This is directly related to your local visibility and loyalty. So don't forget about your local offline marketing. Next, they measure how long someone views your listing. They count how many times the phone number is clicked for someone to call or when someone clicks to find directions. In addition, there's a button there for directions to be sent to a searcher's phone if they're using a PC or laptop. All of these engagement factors and buttons on a business listing are counted as engagement and task completion, which increases the behavioral signals for your business. As people save the listing, check in, or even visit, these all send important behavioral signals of popularity and loyalty, which contributes to your business's visibility in local search. The key takeaways for this section, local SEO has evolved in pace with the emergence of mobile devices with location-aware technologies such as GPS, Bluetooth, cell tower triangulation, and IP address mapping. And AP is one of the most important signals, and it stands for name, address, and phone number. Some of the examples of important directories are Google, TripAdvisor, Yelp, and local business listings. Some of the most important local search results include on-page signals such as NAP and keywords, completed business information in business directories, and search engine business listings, reviews, citations, schema, pictures, and searcher behavioral signals. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.